All right. Now that that's over. <laughs> it also. Oh, are you going to are you going to talk about T.Y. Hilton being a sleeper here or no? No, I'm going to talk about a different future NFL Hall of Famer. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, God. Alvin Lazard, future I'll, NFL I'll, I'll, Hall I'll of Famer. I'll a million dollars. What? A million, <laughs> million dollars? What? Yeah. I'll, I'll give you like 20 to 1 odds, too. That what? That Alan Lazard will not be an NFL Hall of Famer. Okay. I'll take those odds. Deal. Well, how how so much are we doing? You're going to give a million dollars. You're going to give me a million dollars. No, 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 no. I'm not going to bet you a million. I want the million at 21 odds. Okay. So that's what? 50 grand. Yeah. There you go. I got that. (laughs) (laughs) Done. (laughs) Alan Lazard is a, an excellent sleeper candidate this season. Again, Packer fans, I'm making up for all of my past hate shade whatever have whatever you want to call it and uh we're going to show a little love he is consensus 63rd overall espn our consensus ranking has him at 63rd espn has him ranked at 72 his current adp is 163 overall which is the middle of the 14th round wide receiver 64 aka free but getting drafted in like the very last round, Alan Lazard. Right. He's, he's basically going a couple picks before Larry Fitzgerald, which is just a travesty. Right. Well, it's not a travesty. It's right. That, that, is. that that's where he's going because people want the better looking future hall of famer on their team than Larry Fitzgerald. They're okay. taking the younger, better looking version. Now, do you, if if anybody remembers about uh, 25 minutes ago, we were talking about Devonte Adams and how there was literally no other people to target on that team. But uh, here, here we are highlighting Alan Lazard. Before you so rudely interrupted me. <clears throat> quick shout out to Jeff Lambert of going for uh, Also the host of armchair fantasy football and fantasy pros contributor for assisting with some of these stats and information. Um, Alan Lazard, I went to Iowa State. I had the pleasure of watching him play football. I knew he was good at it, and he's excellent. Then, now he plays for the Packers, and I was like, oh, my God, I just hope he gets a chance. I just hope he gets a chance, and you know what? It took, like, until the last, what? It took until week six until he basically got on the field, but he really... He really didn't even get much playing time until like the last final three weeks of the season where he played more than 75% of snaps in those final three games. He had more than, or he had 20 targets MVS Marquez Valdez Scantling saw his usage go from 80% to less than 20% in that time because they finally pulled the trigger. Aaron Rodgers got up and said, in post game interviews, anybody that wanted to ask him, Alan Lazard needs to be on the field more. And guess what? It took all season long, but at the end of the season and into the playoffs, guess who was on the field? Alan Lazard. <clears throat> wow. Jimmy Graham is gone. Was third in third in Green Bay catches. Geronimo Allison was gone. Was fourth in Green Bay catches. Green Bay didn't draft a receiver. You got bunches of funches you got mvs who alan lazard already leaped so alan lazard is the number two receiver on this team and i don't really think that there's much debate about it in his final three games he had 20 catches or 20 targets 11 catches 130 yards and a score as a season that would come out to 107 targets just shy of 60 catches about 700 yards and five and a half touchdowns which would have made him wide receiver 42 now If you just look at the final two games, 
He had 17 targets, nine catches, 115 yards in a score as a season that comes out to 140 targets, 72 catches. Stop. Oh my God. More than You're, 900 yards. More than 900 so yards, eight scores, which would have made him wide receiver 24 on the season, which is coincidentally <sighs> where Devontae Adams finished last year. The Packers have four years supported two receivers. Greg Jennings, Jordy Nelson, like Devonte Adams, Jordy Nelson, like they've supported two guys. Come on, I am saying that Randall Alan Cobb. Lazard is the second guy. That's all I'm saying is Alan Lazard is the second guy, and he's a fantastic sleeper dart throw at the end of drafts. You should take Larry Fitzgerald. Oh, well, all right, fine. I'll let him scratch your 40th overall. Let's do heads up. Who finishes oh, higher? Please. Oh, that's much better. You think I, so? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm all in on that one. All right. Wow. Yeah, Alan Al Lazard doesn't, doesn't do it for me. You don't um, know anything about him. You know, I, just for that, I'm going to go on whatever that website is, and I'm going to pay him $15 to tell you that you're bad at fantasy football. <laughs> you know that app? You're on Cameo? Yeah, he's on Cameo. Yeah. Hey, tell my podcast co-host that he sucks because he thinks you suck. I literally, really hope Larry Fitzgerald's not on that website selling himself out for $15 <laughs> to record a 30-second video. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that tells you pretty much everybody everybody what you need to know about these two players on this list. That's not his actual rate. That's not his actual rate. You cannot do I was I was exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna tell you what his rate is. I'm, uh, I'm pulling it up. It's 75. Oh wow, that's respectable. Oh, 75 dollars. I would really hope Larry Fitzgerald is not on that. Oh man, let's see, Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah, I, he is not. Just from a quick quick search, but that's. Fitz, oh no, is he? Uh, no, he's not. I mean, why would he be? Okay. He has all, he has all the money from playing in the league for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, no, it, po it popped up. Get personal, get personalized messages from your favorite. And then Larry and then Fitzgerald is also in there. Uh, but Larry it's, it's the Larry Thomas. No, it's, it's Larry Thomas, AKA the soup Nazi. <laughs> oh, well, that's different. No soup for you. That's, oh. that's what, uh, yeah. I wonder so, if he yeah, charges yeah, more than Alan Lazard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's sixty five dollars actually. Oh, so, Alan, so Alan's got him by ten bucks. There you yeah, go. Pretty close. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, give, give me Fitzgerald all day, every day. He's never had under a hundred targets, and Lazard has never had over a hundred targets. So there you go.